Welcome to the lab demo for experiment 10. Uh, this is the, uh, the last experiment, which is involved polymerization. And so we're just going to do two simple uh, polymer experiments today. Uh, one is the synthesis of nylon 6-6 uh, six, six, uh, using a, um, an interfacial polymerization. So we're going to have two phases, uh, so it'll be pretty fun to watch. And then the second one is uh, forming a cross-link polymer. Um, you, using polyvinyl alcohol and uh, sodium borate, um, which is essentially, you've probably seen it before, um, as the as slime. Um, so that'll be a fun uh, experiment also. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have um, a beaker, a 50 milliliter beaker, and a 10 milliliter uh, graduated cylinder. And this is filled uh, with 10 milliliters of 1,6 diamino hexane, um, and it also contains a 0.5 molar sodium hydroxide, and the solvent here is water, so it's an aqueous solution. Uh, so we're going to pour this um, into the beaker right here. So this has a diamine, yeah, so NH2 groups on either end of the molecule. Um, and here, this is a solution of adipoyl chloride. Um, so this is a six-member carbon chain uh, with acid chlorides on either end. Uh, that, and acid chlorides react with amines. Uh, but this is dissolved in cyclohexane. Cyclohexane and water are, uh, uh, they don't mix, kind of like oil and water. So we should see two phases as we, as I carefully pour this. Uh, down the side. Yep, so now I see uh, two phases. The adipoyl chloride layer is on top. And if you look, there's a little bit of a film right there in between the two layers. So what we're going to do, and that's actually the nylon that's forming right there at the interface. It forms at the interface because that's the only place uh, where the two uh, compounds meet. So we got a little, and um, we're going to hook the, let's see if I can get a better view of this. Notice as I pull this off, it keeps on coming. Right, and this is because the reaction continues happening at the interface. As I remove things, uh, material from the interface, um, more of the polymer is able to form. And so I'm going to wrap this around a graduated cylinder. I forgot to do that. Got to grab one. What can I use instead? Um, let's set that down temporarily. This will work. Oh no. Come back. Oh boy. So that did. Palmer died. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, there we go. I think the key is to draw it straight from the middle. So notice this reaction just keeps on producing. the polymer. As I remove some, uh, more forms. So you can th think about this uh, sort of like an equilibrium reaction. So 
So eventually, either we're going to run out of diamine or we're going to run out of adipoyl chloride. And we'll stop making the rope. But for now, uh, it continues. Wow. It's got to be almost done. <gasps> there we go. We've come to the end of the nylon. All right, so here we go. All that from those two liquids um, through the interfacial uh, polymerization. Okay, and then we're going to uh, rinse this. On. Okay, well that, what came off at the end is very fragile. Okay, so we're just gonna, I don't even know. It says dry it on a paper towel. I don't know how I'm gonna put something this long on a paper towel. So we are just going to wrap it around the lab. Oh no, I broke. Okay, well, we need to work on the uh, nylon's uh, mechanical properties, but uh, we have made quite a few long strings of, of nylon. This is pretty impressive, uh, considering this started off as a, this reactive adipoyl chloride and, and a, a short diamine. So there, maybe I'll make a, a nylon garment. Get my loom out and uh, make some nylon. Here's the last little bit for this um, experiment, and this is the preparation of a cross-linked polymer of, um, basically it's polyvinyl alcohol as our polymer, and we're going to cross-link it with uh, sodium borate, also known as borax. Uh, so we're going to measure out 20 milliliters of 4% poly polyvinyl alcohol in water, and notice how this is pretty viscous. Uh, that's because there's a the polymer is dissolved in there, and the polymer makes it uh, pretty pretty viscous. So we pour this down in there. But you notice it is still it's still fluid um, even under uh, these circumstances. Um, so this is just this is just a there are a bunch of long really long chains in there that have. Um, 
that have OH groups, alcohol groups coming off of them. Now when we add, we're going to add uh, 10 milliliters of borax to that, uh, but first let's make this um, a little more colorful. So we're going to add some green food coloring to this. And then we're going to add our 4% borax, 10 milliliters, I think, or was it 5? Five? 5 milliliters. Right, and we're going to uh, pour that in here. Notice that as I mix, this is becoming almost uh, gelatinous. So we're supposed to stir this vigorously. Notice that consistency changing. Uh, this is because the borax is going in between the polyvinyl alcohol chains and basically tying them uh, together. You think of it as some kind of a scaffolding that's holding different chains together, uh, which causes this to turn into this, this ball. So we can... Uh, And this is actually a hydrogel because there's a bunch of water uh, stuck in here too. And so we are supposed to knead this until it's no longer sticky. It doesn't actually feel very sticky right now. Now if I were to leave this, um, leave this sitting out, um, the water would evaporate and this would probably harden to a pretty um, plastic-like uh, uh, substance. But there we go. That is, that is slime. This is cross-linked polyvinyl alcohol.